Anyway, uh, Julie, my producer, and I, we've been waiting for a long time to do a follow-up episode on you, and that time has definitely come. <laughs> anyway, I feel it's apparent to anyone who's hip to what's going on that this prison boy has thrown the Constitution straight out the fucking window. You and Mallory may be killers, but nuts? Insane? Today, they wipe clean your mind because they feel your actions are dangerous. Tomorrow, they won't clean my mind. I dump in the fucking syndication because they feel what I say is dangerous. Where does it all end? Now, I have interviews with the prison board and with the psychiatrist, Emil Rygold, and with that warden, Dwight McCluskey, and I'm telling you, Mickey, they look bad. <laughs> now, you give an exclusive to Wayne Gale. We are blocking a media event here. Some promos on a Super Bowl, you know, the network will cream for it. Oh, my God! What a great idea, Julie. We are talking about nothing less than television history. The first sit-down, in-depth interview with the most charismatic serial killer ever. One day before he's being shipped away to a mental hospital for the rest of his life. This is Wallace and Noriega. This is Elton John confessing his bisexuality to Rolling Stone. This is the Paisley's brothers at Altamont. This is the fucking Nixon Frost interviews. Take a look.